Hello everyone, my name is Tonka, welcome back to another redstone video. Today's video was suggested by The Wither, I'm not sure whether I should be scared or not about that one. Anyway, it's nice to know that The Wither watches my videos, and thanks for the comment as always. Today I'm going to show you how to make a redstone shop for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Now, this is basically a working shop, however, there are three main differences. First of all, um, there's no people. You don't need anyone to hire this thing, so you can sit back, relax, flex in your diamonds whilst people are paying you more diamonds. That's a dream life right there. Also, you use buttons as you're lazy. It's a bit like the Amazon store. And finally, you actually have to take your seat. No more just leaving it, no more putting it in the bin. I am forcing you to take your seat. So to get to whatever you want, it's very complicated and that you have to press a button for the thing you want. I know, it's only short for like in that real life. So let's say I wanted 15 observers. 34 resin torches and 11 lamps as you can see I just pressed all those buttons amazing it says I owe three diamonds so once I put in three diamonds in this barrel over here one two three as you see this lovely jubbly trap door over here it opens up allowing me to get access to all my items and the torches are still flowing in so you get them nice and fresh not that it doesn't matter as the rest in torches however give it some time everything will flow in the chest and then you can go off doing whatever you want to do so we can grab all this we can throw it over there we don't need it and let's just order this 63 rest in dust over here as we are absolute rebels we owe another diamond I don't, they're getting tons of diamond ores out of this the trap door opens up and then if you give it a while all this rest in will come to us and we can make a really weird rest in clock it's actually taking quite a long time it can't get any quicker though Play in the hoppers. Finally, that actually took forever. Taking a look at the restaurant over here, it's compact, like it's really, really compact. It's about half the size of all the other designs on Bedrock Edition right now, so this is the best one for you. I mean, just look at it, look how it compact is. I absolutely love this thing. It's truly amazing. If you're not here for the tour of them, please do stay, as you never know when you're going to need a rest and shop, and it would be an amazing thing for you to have in your ward. Also, please do like the video, it would absolutely mean to world to me, and I'd greatly appreciate that. So, first of all, you want to come three blocks off the ground, so one, two, three. You want to destroy these two bottom blocks over here, and then now you want to select how many items you want to be selling, so I'm just going to do five items, so one, two, three, four, five. You want to put buttons on top of all of these blocks, so those buttons over there are going to be the same as these buttons over here. You want to come three blocks to the left like so. You want to come on another three blocks behind it. And then on these blocks you want to place in barrels. Destroy these blocks that are no longer needed. So then coming back underneath these buttons over here. You want to come two blocks down so for me it's the floor. Then you need to place the comparators full facing this way. So this is going to be the front of it. And the comparators want to be facing the other way. Put blocks above those faces. Then you're placing droppers above all these comparators like so. Then you put hoppers in front of all of these droppers going into them. Should be looking something like this from the side. Placing a box on the back of all these comparators. With comparators facing away from these droppers. Placing some temporary box over here. Put some hoppers going into all of these temporary blocks. Destroy these temporary blocks. Hoppers going into those hoppers. And then put blocks in front of these comparators over here. Then put rest and torches on these blocks with sticky pistons facing upwards in front of them. Then put observers facing upwards on the tops of these sticky pistons and then put more sticky pistons over here. Then place in a droppers on top of these sticky pistons facing in towards your observers. Then over here you want to come two blocks out, destroy that block. And then you want to place in all your hoppers going this way. You can do this block again. You want to put blocks on top of all of these observers. Get yourself your rest and dust and put it along all of these blocks. Then come back round to the front and you want to place a temporary block on top of this barrel. And you want to place in observers facing downwards like so. With blocks all in front of here. Put another row of resin dust on top of all of these observers. You're going to hide this later with the staircases if you want to. But like that's totally up to you. You want to place in the stairs on top of all of these barrels. So if you look on this side, as you can see, you'll never know the stairs. Then you want to put another bit of resin dust on top of all of these. Two blocks over here with the half lab behind it like so. Then over here you want to place a block up. 
a comparator going into this piece of resin dust and then another piece of resin dust to the side of it you want to make this little light turn on over here with a resin torch behind this and as you can see this whole thing starts to flicker now coming back around here you want to place a bell underneath this block like so with the hopper going into it not that side <laughs> and then another hand hopper on top of that like so and then coming away from this hopper like so you want to place a block with another block next to it and then a block down and then a block here I'm going to place a comparator coming away from this hopper with two pieces of resin just behind it then a repeater going into <laughs> I am messing up placing these blocks all the time today in the place of a repeater like so with a resin torch in front of it so it powers this hopper so this is where all your lovely diamonds go so if you want to count your diamonds as you're ever feeling lonely this is the place to go you am going to place a hopper behind this middle dropper over here, another hopper behind it, and then another hopper going into this hopper. So it's a nice little hopper chain going on. Come back around to the front, destroy this block temporarily, and then you want to put in a dropper facing straight into this bowel. Place these blocks back. There we go. Then you want to place a dropper facing upwards next to this piece of resin just over here. Place a temporary block here, and then you want to dig a little bit of block down so just so you can fit your little feet into it. And then you want to place another dropper going into it. You want to place a block on top of this with a piece of resin dust on top of that. You want to place a glass box next to this observer, put a piece of resin dust on top of that with a hopper going over this hopper and a piece of resin dust on top of that dropper. Then placing your trap door next to this barrel. You want to place a block here with a piston facing this way on top of it. As you can see it's next to this bottom hopper over here. You want to place a comparator coming away from this bottom dropper with a block on the front of it, a resin torch to the side of that block and then a resin torch on top of this piston. You want to place an observer facing upwards next to this piston over here, then an observer facing this way, a block in front of your observer and then a resin torch on top of that, a resin repeater and then another block and then a repeater going into this hopper over here. Can I place it? No. And I'm stuck. <laughs> there we go. There we go, finally. You want to come back around to this little hole you've made over here, destroy another block next to it. And as you can see, you can see the little observer's face over there. You want to just place an observer just below it, like so. You want to come back where you place the observer. You want to place a block here, a resin torch in front of that observer, a repeater set to with three shapes coming out of it, a block in front of its face, a piece of resin dust here. Then I need another two tick delay repeater like so. So if you come around over here, as you can see, every now and then these resin torches decide to flicker. You know, you want to get yourself a belt load of dirt or whatever junk items you have. You're gonna put a junk item in every one of these droppers over here. So here is one. Put it in that dropper, and you want to do this for all of these droppers. This can be literally any item. Like so, so as you can see, all these comparators should be glowing. Then you want to dig yourself a little pit just underneath these hoppers over here as you want to access them all. And then now there should be a little bit of text on the screen showing how many items you need to put in each hopper to get how many items back. So on the left of the table, find the amount of items that you want to be selling and then on the right, it should tell you how many you need to put in the hopper. So for example, 23 items that you're selling is the same as... 18 things in the hopper there we go so let's do this for all these hoppers over here 28 items equals 22 dirt <laughs> there we go 34 equals 26 39 equals 30 oh not enough come on nope this is difficult there we go. Last hopper now. And then two equals two. So if we come back out the dark little pit over there, <laughs> you can see all these hoppers are where you're going to be putting all your stuff. So this dropper, I can see this represents this button over here. Now if you wanted to, you could put hoppers on top of all of these with chests on top of them if you want more storage in the droppers as you only get nine slots. So if you want to do that, all you have to do is put hoppers on top of these droppers then you can put chest on top of these and then it will fuel these droppers up. Something like that if you're lazy and don't have to keep on refilling it every single time. Also you just want to come ahead and put in two stacks of items into this dropper over here. Get yourself an anvil and now you want to name nine stacks of paper into diamond UO. Here we go. 
for a stack don't just do this for all the other eight last stack now this is taking ages there we go then aim a random stack of items whatever you want like so lovely no i'll spell it wrong oh my goodness that was a complete fail <laughs> No, still got it wrong. Some, some subscribe, everyone. Some subscribe. <laughs> Finally, I did it. You want to place in your nine stacks of paper into this dropper over here, as you see. Come around to the back and place it into this dropper. There we go. Get yourself some diamonds, and you want to fill in part of this hopper with your renamed item. There we go. So you want to fill in four slots with your renamed item. Then you'll just put in your diamonds over here, as you see. They should go down to 18 and then they should stop. So now you want to label everything and fill in your stock. So I have labelled everything. That took quite a while actually. I'm not the quickest at typing on Xbox, that's for sure. I've had to change up some of the pricing as I said the wrong stuff. I had the wrong list on my phone in front of me. <laughs> I am smart, I had the old one as I had many designs for this anyway, so now we can test this thing. So, I'm just going to go ahead and order everything. Yes, everything, I'm buying absolutely everything out, I'm being a right good rebel over here. So, it should say yes, so it says 5 receipts, which is good. So, I need to pay in 5 times, let me just get 5 times out of my bank of eternity, whatever I have down here. There we go, so one, two, three, a four, and a five. So when I put five times in here, the trapdoor should open up. And so the trapdoor has opened up, revealing everything on the inside. It goes up in a very, very strange order. <laughs> and there we go, as you can see, everything has finally arrived. I can take my oak saplings, my coral, my lively concrete, my wood planks, and my red concrete to wherever I'm going, so this thing is working. Anyway, that's it for done. If you found this video helpful or you want to see more of this stuff, then please do consider subscribing as I upload three rest and tutorials like this a week. Also, if you have any video ideas, then please do know it in the comment section below and make sure you turn on the notifications so you do not miss a video. And so if I do do your idea, you'll know about it straight away. Anyway, that's it all from me. Hopefully you will have fun with your new shop. <laughs> anyway, and I'll see you all later.